Teddy, Teddy boy. You know, I think everybody out there knows that I'm a Ted Cruz supporter, right? Um, you know, I voted for you in Texas. I hope you win the nomination, and uh, I'd like to vote for you as president because I think out of everybody that's running, you are the most secure and constitutional candidate out there. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen your track record, and uh, far above anybody else's, you care more about the Constitution and adhering to the Constitution than anyone else, and that's why I want to vote for you. I want to give the Constitution a chance in the highest office in the nation. But damn, son, sometimes you just step in it, right? <laughs> you know, you got to learn when to keep your mouth closed. And I think you have learned that because throughout this election, you have done that. You have been the one to keep your mouth closed and not hurl insults, even when there are insults and lies being thrown at you. But then you went and stepped in it, right? The Donald Trump protests in Chicago. After they happened, whether you did it because you knew the situation or not, you opened your mouth when you shouldn't have. You went and basically said that the candidate, i.e. Donald Trump, bears responsibility for the actions of those in attendance of his rallies. I mean, granted, that's a way to kind of paraphrase it. It's not an exact quote, but that's essentially what you said, that it was Donald Trump's fault that violence broke out at one of his rallies. Now, this just isn't true, bro. I mean, come on. It would be true if it was the people attending the rally in favor of Trump were the ones that started getting violent. Yes, then Trump bears some responsibility for instigating violence among his supporters. But that's not what happened. It was people like Answers and Black Lives Matter and La Raza, people that vote for Hillary and Bernie that started this. They are the ones that got violent. Trump has no control over that. It's not his fault. So I'm disappointed. Do I not want you to win? No, of course not. I still think you're the best candidate. I mean, compared to Donald Trump, you say one stupid thing, it almost seems insignificant. But you still said something stupid. And because I am not a hypocrite, because when it comes to politics, I still like to tell the truth and call things out when I see them, whether good or bad. I've got to say, Ted Cruz, for making me defend Donald Trump in this instance, please, Go fuck yourself.